Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about voltage divided by us. But before that I need you to know what is biasing and the types of biasing methods we use. So now the question is what is biasing? The method of applying external voltages to operate the transistor in the active region is known as biasing. Simply said, for the transistor to act as an amplifier, it must be operated in its active region. For achieving a perfect amplifier, the biasing is needed. Now, types of biasing. For accomplishing the proper biasing, various biasing circuits are designed as follows. 1. Fixed bias circuit. Fixed bias is also known as base resistor bias. In this, a common emitter amplifier is biased by connecting the resistor, RS, across the base and power supply terminals. Now, going down to the next one, we have collector to base bias. In this, CE amplifier is biased by connecting a resistance, RB, across the collector and base terminals. Now, moving on to the third one, we have potential divider bias. Potential divider bias or voltage divider bias or self bias. Now, we are going to discuss about this one. The most extensively used biasing circuit for maintaining stabilization is voltage divider bias circuit. It is as shown in the coming figure. This is the circuit for the voltage divider bias. Yes, in the base section of the transistor, this is the transistor. In the base section of the transistor, the circuit consists of two resistors R1 and R2 connected to the voltage VCC. Here, the voltage drop across the resistor R2 forward biases the emitter base junction. Emitter base junction. The resistor RE is connected to the emitter grants stabilization to the circuit. Now let's go into the circuit analysis. Here, we have the current flowing through the resistance R1 is I1. Since the current flowing through the base is very small, it can be assumed that the same current I1 flows through the resistance R2. Repeating again, the base current is negligible, so we consider the current passing through the resistor R2 to be the same I1 passing through the resistor R1. So now the total current I1 is given by I1 is equal to VCC by R1 plus R2. Let me explain this one. We know that V is equal to IR from Ohm's, Ohm's law. Now we are going to write the equation for current I. So I is equal to V by R. Now in case of I1 voltage by resistance. The total voltage across I1 is VCC. Is VCC here. And the total resistance across I1 is given by two resistances. R1 plus R2. Because these are connected in series. So the resistance, the total resistance is given by R1 plus R2. And the total voltage is VCC. Therefore, I, I1 is equal to total voltage VCC by total resistance R1 plus R2. Let this be equation number 1. Next, according to the voltage division rule, the voltage drop across R2 is given by V2 and is written as R2 by R1 plus R2 into VCC due to the voltage division rule. We all are aware of that rule. V2 is given by the individual resistance R2 by total resistance R1 plus R2 since these are in series into total voltage VCC. Now let this be equation number 2. Nextly, applying KVL to loop 2. Loop 2 in this figure, this part. So now V2, the voltage across resistor R2 is given by VB plus V. V2 is equal to VBE plus VE. And then this V according to Ohm's law is given by IE into RE. Current across the emitter and resistance across the emitter. Now from this equation 
we can get IE is equal to V2 minus VBE. This goes uh, and RE. V2 minus VBE by RE. Let this be equation number 3. Generally, for a CE configuration, IE is equal to IC. We all are aware of this thing. IE is equal to IC. Now, IC can be written as V2 minus VBE by RE. Because IE is equal to IC. Let this be equation number 4. And... Let us get into the KVL of the outer loop. Let us go into the circuit again. Here we have the outer loop. The total voltage VCC is given by voltage across the resistor RC, VC and the resistor voltage VE. I mean the emitter resistor's voltage VE. So now VC is equal to IC into RC plus VC plus IC, IE into RE. VCC is equal to IC into RC plus VCE plus VE. VE is given by IE into RE. Now, since IC is equal to IE, we get VCC is equal to IC into RC plus RE. Since IE becomes IC, IC into RC plus RE. Plus VCE. From this, we can write VCE is equal to VCC minus IC into RC plus RE. Let this be equation number 5. The circuit provides good stabilization to the resistor RE and it is explained using equation 4. IC is equal to VE minus VBE by RE. Also, in the other expression, voltage V2 across R2 resistance is independent of IC and is given as V2 is equal to R1 by R1 plus R2 into VCC. Since R1, R2 and VCC are constant, V2 is also constant. An increase in IC causes an increase in potential across RE, that is IC into RE. Since V2 is constant, an increase in IC RE must be compensated by a decrease in VBE. Therefore, an increase in IC RE causes VBE to decrease and vice versa. In this manner, the circuits provide good stabilization. The advantages of voltage divided by S. It is the most popular biasing circuit. Simple RE resistance provides good stability. Stability factor S is controlled by RE and R thevenins. Stability factor is small for this circuit compared to other techniques. Thank you.